Hi. Taurus, okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I'm really excited for this month for you. Um, I think that you're gonna learn where your, more than ever, your skills and your strengths are. Um, not, not just because of Leo season exposing pretty much everything to us, but you have a stronger identity than you realize. You have a stronger sense of self than you realize. And I think this month's gonna put it to you very clearly. And that balance from this, there's a balance happening. You realize that you don't have to do more in order to accomplish more. Some of you might need to learn to delegate. Others of you, maybe you're learning to really rely on other people to see out your vision and you're finding the best people who actually want to listen to you and hear you out and see you out the whole way through as well as you allowing uh, freedom on their end if that's what you want however this is really about you and your focus and where you want to go and I think more and more you're so tapped into your purpose you're so tapped into who you are as a person and your values and you've learned to strengthen things that are really important to you and be more vocal about it when necessary and I think that's the key word is when necessary because if you Taurus learn how to do that to like learn where to push where learn where where to learn to pull back there isn't anything you can't do or anything you can't succeed in you're being given the opportunity to give to maybe even meet someone that you've admired for a long time and even say that to them to be given the opportunity to even mentor perhaps somewhere in your life you also no sorry my kitty um you also learn where in your life where you need to be even clearer with yourself where you find greater clarity with yourself, perhaps. And it might be, and more than ever, it's not at the expense of what you learned and what you grew up with. You're so, you have so much evidence and so much capacity to outgrow and find freedom in those ways that really no longer serve you, no longer helping your where your direction is in life, where you want to go in life. You can see now and you can feel now how much your voice is needed. And some of you, this is you growing into yourself even more. That throat and voice don't aren't taking a back seat to other people's feelings and needs anymore. Meaning, that doesn't mean just holding back, that means even saying things when you could have said it a couple days ago, where you could have said it a month ago, where you let things go too far. That's a strength in some cases, but not in all, especially intimate relationships or people that you need to talk to or that you see on a regular basis or people you want in your life. So you could feel a little separated from those people in a multitude of ways this, this month, but I think more than ever it's about your true independence of other people where you find that you're the individual in this scenario and by the time Mar um, Mars enters Gemini you'll feel even more like you want to do a lot more but the, there's things getting in the way of each other and there's like Virgo Virgo is also in Mercury and then after Mars goes into Gemini then Libra will turn into um, go into Mercury or Mercury will be shifting into Libra and you'll find that it will be much easier to let go of maybe even just one of those things and it could be a false narrative of yourself or something that you're working on internally but I think it's, if it's something externally things will just like smooth out like magic and what will be taken away or let go of is something that's actually needed for in order for you to expand even further because all of this is happening even more so I'm sure of that it's happening for a reason for you it's an incredible way of seeing your strength being played out and where you're taking initiative in your life, where you're taking, again, action in your life, where you're finding that your voice and what your values and what you've learned is really important. So if we even put the page up here, right after the king, 
wherever you are very secure, wherever you're very comfortable, wherever you're very abundant in your life, you quickly see where you're not. You quickly see where you have also grown, but where you need to strengthen other places again. And this month is making it very clear to you that if you really want to see it with clarity and without judgment, you need to allow yourself to not turn your back. It may be hard. you may need to take some space you may find that there's unfairness around you but you want to understand why and then there are parts of you that are seeing everything extremely clearly like this could be both sides of you it's just are all sides of you just seeing everything in a broader perspective like Sagittarius does the temperance card so it could be this extreme forward movement where you even feel like you feel lighter, perhaps, in your bo um, body, mind, spirit. Something is being lifted off of you. You're giving yourself this freedom. You're feeling this movement. You may feel it in your hips, in your thighs. You may feel like something's been stuck there. That's a place that you've been feeling heavy lately. And you're starting to move with more ease. You're starting to even run. Some of you, if you're just like running or if you're having to travel a lot, you find it's so much easier than it used to be. Your body is acclimating to that and it feels almost as if like magic. And it feels like things are really shifting. So there's a lot of Sagittarian energy here, which is a transmutation. doing that so you're learning where it's important like with my cat there are certain boundaries you can't let go of you can't that you can't allow to be crossed there are parts of you yourself that you need for yourself and the more that you tap into that the more magic that occurs so again that thing that has been making things unstable is because there was an excessive amount and just like you and leo share that ex excess quality sometimes just like like you don't need to indulge that much to make yourself happy you actually might feel lethargic so you might be doing too much where you need to pull out a little bit in order to or pull back a little bit in order to experience the steadiness of what you see and what you find in other people and then if that thing's meant to come back, it will, or you'll add on in the future if you're still wanting to do more. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that what you see and what you admire externally about others is what you really want for yourself. So you need to learn to manage it and get it where you can. So that could also mean trusting someone else, trusting a Sagittarius, what would you have to say? But there's someone in your life that has something to say to you and it gives you perspective. Someone very close to you that you may have not seen eye to eye with but now you understand their perspective or their advice even more and it creates a change it's not like you trust everyone with your shit this is an important person there's a lot of fire so i do think this could be a sagittarius in your life if you really let them say what they have to say it could actually change things very quickly because the more that you let yourself digest that the more that things will be easier to move. If you become too stubborn with that by the end of the month, then you need to be careful with your nervous system, your solar plexus, your hands or your arms. That's all mercury-based stuff. And it's important that your nerves get the attention they need. That will always be an emphasis while Uranus is in your sign, regardless of how little or not it affects you like we talked about in the beginning your body is very important now the sirens are going off and it will create an alarm inside of you so take care of it now before it gets to that manifestation physically and be present with yourself in that way this person might actually or this conversation or this internal realization could give you so much presence that you don't maybe you tend to hurt yourself in certain situations and you need to learn to become present because a lot of times when something physical emotional anything happens in our lives 
it's happening to show us or teach us something. And I know that can become redundant and annoying. And at times it's to learn to just get over things. At other times it's to face it, to understand it, regardless of what anyone else's experience is, it's your experience. And you don't want to let it go farther than it has. And you'll find that there will be so much resolution by the time Mercury go enters Libra and through the sign of Virgo this month that we will be going into a retrograde as well but through that sign of Virgo you'll be able to work things out things will become easier said things will become easier done things will become easier to accomplish and you might even find that you have a passion for it come Virgo season where you realize that that's a big part of your life moving forward and with ease you can step into that in all areas of your life because it will always be important. Your voice and your throat is very important. So if you do get a little sick, just know that that's your lesson. If you hadn't spoken up or you spoke up too much, it's that finding that balance this month and also listening when it's important. And it's possible that in that moment of resistance or that threshold where you don't wanna do it is when you need to do it the most. And maybe it's that conversation with someone and, or maybe it's you sitting with yourself. Either way, Leo season's bringing the heat, but if you can tap into the when the, as the moon moves through different signs or this more Mercury and Virgo energy before Venus moves into Leo, you may find that you it becomes easier to process and you can find the coolness where you can. Okay, Taurus, love you so much. Oh, here he is. I will see you next month.